we had a point source issue on the lake and we were trying to figure out how to get our arms around it. How, how can we quantify and tell people that there really is a problem here? And uh, by chance, we discovered some folks that were trying to call themselves in, yeah, call themselves the water box then. That came several years later. But uh, we were trying to make a connection with Auburn City, so close to where we live and so close to Lake Martin. And uh, got Bill Davies and Bill Deutsch. Most of you don't know Bill Davies, but BD Square, BD, Bill Davies, Bill Deutsch. Uh, they were the two that, remember Patty, uh, came to Lake Martin, put on a workshop, uh, a bunch of malcontents, uh, uh, rabble rousers, whatever we were called then. But they did a neat job of training us, and it's been, been a great ride ever since. Um, so what's it mean to, to us and Lake Watch? Well, first of all, they're good friends. Uh, all the folks at, at Water Watch are good friends. And we really are privileged because we live so close. Uh, it's not like, you know, up in Smith Lake or up in Tennessee River or somewhere like that. They're a long ways away. And the support aspect, not that they wouldn't support you, but it's just so much easier for us to jump in the car and run over there or, or whatever. So uh, we really are privileged for that. They've uh, given us credibility when we didn't have it before. Uh, helped us uh, enormously in getting the uh, uh, treasure down on the lake designation. And I really do hope, uh, Eddie and the rest of you guys from Smith Lake area, uh, I'm really pulling for you on that. Uh, and I'll be right there with you. Um, we, we, we're still doing water quality testing, and we'll always do that, I suppose. But uh, you can tell them on my t-shirt here. This is this is where Marianne walked all over me here. With her huh? You see in the back? You know, no child left inside? Uh, okay, that's really important to us. And to me, it speaks volumes about what our sort of our mission is with, with Lake Watch. Get these kids outside. Get them away from their iPads and their iPads whatever they, they call this, and cell phones and stuff. And later in this program, you'll hear from uh, one of the teachers we're working with at Ellis City, and some of her students uh, are here to uh, sort of give you a flavor of what volunteers like us can do to help teachers uh, do the things they need to do. So thank you much, Bill.